Hello, 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 everybody! My name is Jurassic Attic Panel Mix, and today we're gonna take a quick look at the new Jurassic World Dominion Iguanodon. And without further ado, let's take a quick look at it. The painting and the sculpting of this figure is pretty damn good. I absolutely love how they sculpted the face, the body, and everything. Um, and I absolutely love the coloration that they gave it. Now, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm exhausted right now, maybe because I'm thirsty, or I don't know, but it really gives me the nice comfort feeling of coffee. Just something about it just makes me think of coffee. I just love the little creamy brown they gave the overall figure, the nice dry brush in its back, and the nice creamy coloration stripes that they gave it. Honestly, it, not like the most amazing paint, but it does its job and it's good enough for me because I really, really, really like the paint job. And back to the sculpting, you can really notice a lot of small little details that they put in the Iguanodon. Just a lot of little little pebble type details, scales and everything, the freaking wrinkles, just, you know, your basic sculpting. Again, Mattel really put a lot of love into a lot of the dinosaurs in the Jurassic World Dominion toy line. I just have one little issue now riddle me this batman what it makes the iguanodon the most iconic dinosaur in the world is it perhaps the you know freaking thumb claws i don't know why they missed out on the thumb claws it's like it's like back when hasbro forgot to put the sickle claw on the raptors but instead of a sickle claw here they forgot to put the thumb claw on the iguanodon it's like why? <laughs> I can understand making compromises with paint, compromises with accessories, but was compromising a thumb claw necessary? Like, you, you gave the Kentrosaurus all its spikes, so why can't the Iguanodon have what it makes it the most iconic dinosaur of all time? <laughs> like, what the hell, man? <laughs> But honestly, that's like my only flaw with this figure. It, it, it does really bother me. And um, as much as I really like the little action fe uh, feature, I would have preferred it, it had something to do with its hands. Like maybe stand it up high and then maybe have a, like a slapping uh, motion or like a hitting motion or like a little kicking motion. I don't know. But we don't get that. What we do get is this. And yeah, that is the action feature of the Iguanodon. It has three roars, unlike the usual two the other roar roars have. And um, it, they're, they're really good roars. Like, I actually really like the roars that they gave it. Honestly, it won't be as iconic as this one. But hey, I highly doubt Mattel and Universal wants to give the mouse any more money than it already has. So can I can live without it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, before we get to my final thoughts of this figure, um, let's get into size comparison, shall we? Let's. Here we have the Jurassic World Dominion Iguanodon with the Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts Sora. Here we have the Jurassic World Dominion Iguanodon with the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Carnotaurus. And of course, here we have the Iguanodon with the one and only cat and Jack Sparrow. All in all, I honestly think the Iguanodon is a pretty solid figure, but my biggest gripe is once again, the thumb and another gripe that I kinda um, didn't talk much about is that the stripes just stop midway through. They don't go all the way through the body of the Iguanodon. They don't go ha uh, halfway. They're just, they're just like two thirds of a way down and they're gone. But that, that 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 just that's just me. I don't know if that bothers any other people. I tend to be slightly slightly picky, so it's probably just me. But all in all, I think it's worth the fifteen to sixteen dollars. I think it's cheaper in Walmart. I think it's like fourteen in Walmart. So I would actually wait until Walmart gets it. But unfortunately, at the moment, it is only available at Kohl's. So if you have a Kohl's, go check them out. Anyway, 
I've been Jurassic Addict, and I'll see you tomorrow for new Jurassic news, and I'll see you on Friday for a little surprise review. So stick around. Adios!